Hi, my name is Michael Condon. I'm an adult services librarian with the Brooklyn Public Library. And I'm here to let all Brooklyn Public Library cardholders know about Mango Languages, a resource provided by the Brooklyn Public Library to teach languages. In today's video, I will focus on learning English because Community Board 12, the community my home branch, the Borough Park Library serves, has the highest percentage of people in Brooklyn who speak non-English languages in their home, with 31% of the residents over five years old having limited proficiency in English. I am hoping that this video can help any viewers who wish to become more proficient in English or let people who wish to help non-English speakers who wish to gain proficiency in English know about this resource and how to find it. If you're an English speaker who wishes and if you're an English speaker who wishes to learn other languages, such as Mandarin, Spanish, or Hebrew, Mango Languages is a good resource for you as well. So stick around at least until I pull up this site. The first thing uh, we need to do is go to the Brooklyn Public Library's webpage. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, and we type in www klynlibrary.org. So remember, it's B-K-L-Y-N, not Brooklyn, and it's uh, .org, not .com. So right now we're on the Brooklyn Public Library's uh, website. And uh, on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, we see the word learn. Uh, so we'll click on that and a menu pops up and uh, we'll click the option marked online resources. And now in the upper, uh, and now in the upper right hand corner of the screen or kind of middle right hand corner of the screen, uh, we see a box marked, marked search all resources and we'll type in Mango languages. And uh, I'll include a link to, uh, to Mango languages in the comments for your convenience. So we type Type in Mango Languages, we click that. And uh, in order to, okay, let's move this far out of the way. Now, in order to use this uh, resource on your own device, you need to have a Brooklyn Public Library card. Now, I will post a link that will allow you to apply for physical or an e-card in the comments for this video. Uh, Brooklyn Public Library cards are available to all New York State residents. Doesn't matter if you live in Kensington or in Queens, Borough Park or Buffalo. If traveling from Syracuse to Brooklyn to get a card is a bit daunting, don't worry. You have the option of applying for an e-card that gives you access to all of the Brooklyn Public Library's electronic resources, such as e-books, e-audiobooks, and other resources, including Mango Languages. Teens who do not live in New York State can apply for a free e-card by sending an email to booksunbanned at bkoynlibrary.org. I will include a link to apply for the uh, for the Books Unbanned card in the comments as well. Adults who do not live in New York State are not eligible for an e-card, but you can see if your local library provides the re this resource. So we click the bo box marked Visit This Resource. We arrive on a sign-in page. Uh, creating an account is free and lets you save your progress. If you don't want to go through the trouble or want your information to be kept as private as possible, you have the option of logging in as a guest. The lessons are the same. I'm going to sign in as a guest because I don't want to broadcast my, pa my password in this video. So I click use Mango as a guest. Okay, so a list of six languages comes up. And uh, they aren't the only languages available, just most popular. And Mango Languages provides lessons for 72 languages, including Arabic, Aramaic, and Yiddish. Okay. And we'll click English. And as you can see, Mango Languages asks which language one would uh, be most comfortable learning English in and gives 21 choices. The most important ones for the community served by the Borough Park Library are Bengali, uh, can uh, Cantonese Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, Polish, Spanish, and uh, uh, Polish and Spanish. Unfortunately, not every language is represented. Uh, so some languages important to the Borough Park community, including Hungarian, Hebrew, and Yiddish are not available. 
I am going to focus on learning English if one is most comfortable communicating in Spanish because not every language has every feature and the Spanish module has the most features. Um, and uh, uh, one of my colleagues will be making a, a, a video in Russian for, uh, for Russian speakers uh, uh, who want to uh, use this resource. And that, uh, and that will be, uh, be publicized uh, in the future. Okay, so we click Spanish. And the first thing uh, you should do is take the placement exam. So we have the placement test here. The placement exam has two parts. The first has a maximum of 12 conversation questions. The second part has a maximum of 18 questions on sentence construction. Not all uh, uh, languages have placement exams. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the main page now. Every language has a feature marked tools right over here. Uh, click that. And the tool in question is an online dictionary whose default is to translate from the student's language, in this case, Spanish, into English. It can also be used to translate from one, any one of 135 languages. So here's the list of 135 languages to any one of another 135 languages. So you can translate uh, Bulgarian into Polish or Hebrew into French. Uh, unfortunately, all, uh, okay, if you notice the names of all the languages are in Spanish. So we have Africa. So like, I think this is German, Aleman, and or Arabic is Arabi. Uh, unfortunately, all the directions are in English. So one can translate a word, phrase, sentence, or paragraph to Spanish into English. One can either type or cut and paste the, desi the desired words or sentences. So I'm gonna type the word casa, and I press translate, and I get the word house. And uh, uh, please note that sometimes sentences or paragraphs will be translated with errors because no artificial intelligence is as good as a fully bilingual person when it comes to translating. So it'll give you an idea, but it may not be 100% correct. So now we click the word learn in the upper left-hand corner for the actual lessons. The English for Spanish speakers lessons, the section is divided into four units or unidad, which in turn have 10 chapters. The chapters have a variable number of lessons, but the total is 462. Okay, and uh, we'll click Start Learning. And the first thing that comes up is an explanation of how this lesson will be taught. So we have Learn with Conversation. Next, says that you learn with a practical methodology based on conversations. Cultural and grammatical notes provide ideas and context. Okay, we press next. And uh, then we have practice pronunciation and speaking. We have practice saying the answers on the slides strategically created for this purpose. Interact with a word or line to access pronunciation tools. Okay, and then recognize patterns. The semantic color plot uh, reflects the relationships between the languages and compare your voice. Record your voice and align it to compare it with the native speaker. Okay. So now we're ready to, uh, uh, to start the lesson. And we begin with a page that gives the lesson objectives. So and it gives uh, conversation ob objectives and, and, gr and gr grammatical objectives. And they'll be different from uh, for each uh, lesson. And, uh, it, and uh, since this is the first lesson, um, uh, like it, it, it uh, it'll talk about like uh, like how to wish somebody a good morning, how to greet people, how to greet strangers, and I'll have information on uh, uh, the adjectives, uh, the articles, pronouns, how to uh, conjugate the verb to have, and other things. Okay, so let's let me move my bar out of the ear. Let me press begin. Okay, I need to increase my volume. You today. Here. 
breeze today. Yes, it is. The breeze is wonderful. Good day. Goodbye. Okay, so as you see, uh, there was a conversation here. Uh, the conversation was all English, so that the uh, so that the student can uh, can learn how English is pronounced. Uh, but there are uh, uh, but there are um, uh, uh, captions in both English and Spanish uh, to help out with uh, 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 so uh, so people can uh, can better understand what's being said. And if you click each of these things. Every time you click it, uh, it repeats. So over here, uh, we can press uh, uh, compare voice. So I'll say good morning. Good morning. That compares my voice with uh, what they have here. Try it again. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not sure why this isn't working too well. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so um, I don't really find this to be too helpful. Maybe uh, you'll find it helpful. My native English speaker and uh, my, and what I have to say uh, doesn't match up with uh, with what they have. I, I don't really know what the problem is. Okay, so. Good morning. So when you press the green button, it repeats it. Okay, and if something is an idiom, we have this button here. Uh, this this uh, gives uh, the, uh, so first it shows that, uh, what it means to conversation. Uh, Buenos dias is good morning. But um, here is the literal uh, translation of it. Okay, now up here we have uh, 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 we have three icons over, over here and the first is a keyboard guide. Uh, so it shows that if you press the right arrow, you go to the next lesson. So on your keyboard, press the right letter. Si usted puede decir, if, días. if you press the left out, uh, arrow, okay, uh, you go to the previous lesson. If you press the end key on the keyboard, the current slide plays from the beginning. Okay, and that's enough of that. Now, if you press the M key on the keyboard, the timer for quiz slides pauses. If you press it again, it resumes. Now, if you press the B key on your keyboard, you can see the quiz answers. So. Okay, and then there, uh, the icon mark with a question mark takes you to the help and support page. So that's if you're having a problem with the uh, uh, with the site, uh, you can you can send uh, a, a message to them. Well, we have a tr some troubleshooting sites over here. Um, and uh, the third icon is of course settings. So we have uh, volume, uh, narrator on or off, closed captions on or off. Uh, quiz timer on or off, and interactive slides on or off.
Okay, so now let's scroll ahead. And we have a cultural note. And in this case, it explains that the dividing line between afternoon and evening is five o'clock. Uh, because five o'clock is understood to be the uh, the end of the workday in the United States. And now if we skip ahead to lesson two, uh, we'll see a grammatical note. We just have to go through this. And this grammatical note uh, explains that there is only one U in English, whether one is speaking formally or informally. Uh, because I guess if, uh, there are two uh, use in uh, in Spanish, uh, one uh, for, for, for uh, speaking with uh, close friends or relatives, and the other for speaking with everybody else. Now, once you're done with the main units, uh, there are three specialty units. The specialty units are job seeking in English, which consists of 129 lessons, business English, which consists of 47 lessons, and text talk in English, which consists of 71 lessons. And Text Talks explains how to text in English and explains the abbreviations. Another uh, resource provided by Mango are movies. They may be found by clicking the word explore at the top of the screen. There are 22 movies. 19 of them are the Fixies, Russian short cartoons for children dubbed into English. Uh, they are around six minutes long. Of the three remaining, one is Tidy Up Song, a song for preschoolers that is two minutes long uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, two documentaries that are an hour and a half long each. Each of the videos have age recommendations on it. Just about all the videos in this section, including all the fixies, are approved for all ages. The two remaining videos uh, are for children eight and up. I assume that this won't matter for most of the people I'm trying to reach because I am aiming this class at adults. When you go to watch the video, you have two options. You can watch in movie mode, which is described as watching the movie with interactive content and no interruptions, or in engage mo mode, where you learn the dialogue, grammar, and culture with short lessons, interactive content. Okay. And you can also choose whether or not to have subtitles and whether those subtitles would be in Spanish, English, or both. So we'll start with moving, watching the movie in movie mode. I'm choosing The Order of Myths as a one hour and 37 minute documentary on Mardi Gras in Alabama uh, uh, because I think it would be more interesting than a six minute cartoon. Click here. Press play. So we have to choose between movie mode and engage mode. So I type in movie mode. Okay, so it asks me to choose the subtitles. And I'm going to choose both English and Spanish. I press get started. And it says in movie mode, you can watch the entire film uninterrupted with your choice of interactive subtitles. Okay, so we already went over that. I press next. I'll put this up at maximum. Working uh, in a library, I usually, I usually have the volume down. As you can see, uh, we see the movie, we can, um, hopefully you can hear the dialogue, even maximum, uh, it's kind of low because I don't have speakers on my computer. And uh, we see that, uh, 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 that as the person speaking, there's, uh, uh, there are uh, captions, both in English and in Spanish. And if you, cl if you click on one of the English subtitle words, the movie pauses. The first time you click a word for one of the, so we'll click this thing here. Uh, and the first time you click on a word for one of the subtitle sentences, you're given a phonetic spelling of the word. 
And every subsequent time you click a word in a sentence, you're given a phonetic sp spelling and uh, hear the word. Chases. And uh, uh, now let's move on to engage mode. We'll click engage mode and get. Okay, so we start off with a scene introduction. Uh, and so we start with this still from the first scene and, and explanation will be going on in the scene. And uh, we scroll down, we see a list of words that we may encounter in the scene. And if we click it, we, get, we have a phonetic spelling of it. Spirit. Uh, and, uh, uh, and a translation in Spanish. And uh, we hear the word, or the, or the phrase. If we scroll down further, we see cultural notes. In this particular scene, there are six cultural notes, and each can be uh, reached by pressing the orange arrow. So here's the first one, second one, third one, etc. And if Okay, so let's scroll back up. We click the eyeball. Uh, we'll see the first scene, which is three minutes and 46 uh, seconds long. So it's a lot like watching a movie um, uh, mode, only chopped up scene by scene, rather than watching the whole movie at once. And after the video shows, we go to follow up, which breaks down the, the scene sentence by sentence. So let's go to the end. Click follow up. And here we uh, go. Uh, keep it up. Keep it up. That stuff burn your hand, boy. You'll be through dealing. That stuff burns, boy. Okay. So that's all for learning English. If you're most comfortable with Spanish. Um. Now for the other. Uh. uh now. Um. If one is more comfortable with learning English from another language, uh, you have to. All of the other languages have a dictionary that translates words from one language to another. None of the lang languages has as many languages as learning English for Spanish speakers or as wide a variety of movies and specialty units. And some have no movies, special units, or placement tests at all. And uh, so I hope that you found this lesson uh, helpful and will enjoy using this resource. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.